This video will show you how to create custom templates within Advanced Steel. So once you've saved your model browser settings, again, it's very, very useful. You can find out if any drawing has a drawing number, where what element is on the drawing. You can also check to see if elements have a model role. And you can check for user attributes applied to the element, for main parts, for single parts, and for preliminary parts. So I'll just collapse this or actually close it. So once you have your working area all set up and the tool palettes the way you want, you can save. Let me just display the menu bar. You can save all the settings you've made as a template. In order to do that, we're going to go to the Application Manager and we can save as a drawing template. I've made some before, so you're going to see many. So you're going to put in a name and I'll just put AST, maybe Imperial. And you can name it whatever you want. And just to say I've changed up the model browser, I'll put MB, model browser. I'll copy that and I'll hit the Save button. So you're going to see the template option description dialog. You can put in whichever you want here, the description. So I'll just put in the same. You want to make sure the measurements are OK. So we'll use English for this. And the last thing we want to do is select OK. In order to use the template, you'll begin like you're starting a new project. So again, we're going to select the Application button. And we'll select New Drawing. I'm going to select the newly created template. The file of type is DWT. I'll select Open. And here we have our drawing 2. Again, you can check to see the changes that you've made. They exist. I'll just close that out. So these templates are saved in the C, Program Data, Autodesk, Advanced Steel 2021 USA Shared Support Template Folder. So at any time, you can go and remove the template if need be.